Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope all of you are fine and okay. In this video tutorial, I will try to demonstrate how to add XAMPP MySQL in MySQL Workbench. If you want to work with XAMPP MySQL, then you have to add the connection with MySQL Workbench. Okay, in that scenario, you can use this tutorial. In our operating system, we have installed XAMPP first and then we have installed MySQL. Let's start MySQL Workbench. I'll try to show how to connect uh, XAMPP MySQL in MySQL Workbench. Okay, so starting MySQL Workbench right now. This is MySQL Workbench. If you install MySQL uh, version 8, and then you will see MySQL Workbench. Okay, by default, our local MySQL 8 version is local instance, and we want to add here a new connection. And this time, we want to add XAMPP. To add XAMPP, you have to start XAMPP server first so that the connection, whenever it is going to be tested, it will show a successful connection this is mysql workbench and it is the latest one and in, in your case it may be the version can be higher than this here the version is about workbench in mysql 8.0 okay and in your case your version may be higher so here we are going to add xamp mysql so that we can manage xamp mysql from here okay so here mysql connection you can add a new connection or you can go to file okay and then database you can connect to database okay you can use mysql here icon this icon okay so clicking on this icon so you will see this and from there the connection name is xamp our focus is xamp okay xamp mysql here we are going to use you, you will have three options standard local or standard tcp over ssh okay using the default one standard tcp ip not using ssl or advanced procedure okay using the parameters here the host name is not the default host name okay we have changed default host name is 1270 and 02 okay and the port we have also changed the port okay and username will be change okay and default schema will be default okay before using the test connection let's start xamp first okay so opening xamp right now here you can see apache we are using the default port starting apache apache we didn't configure because we are using the default port for apache which is http port 80 and https 443 but in mysql we have overridden mysql port with mysql 8 the latest mysql in your case it might be higher than this okay version 8 so here how to configure this mysql whenever you are going to override xamp mysql by this mysql 8 then you can't use the default port for mysql which is 3306 okay before starting i want to show that how did i configure mysql okay so here click on the configure button mysql ini okay and there you can see we have changed two things we have changed the port here here we have changed the port from port 33 006 we have changed the port 3307 and we have changed another thing we have changed this port 3307 and we have also changed here the port 3307 instead of 3306 default port would be 3306 okay we are using a different port for xamp mysql we are using a different binding also default binding would be 0 1 to 7 0 0 and 1 but in our case we are using a different binding which is 1 to 7 0 0 and 2 okay so we have changed two things the port number in two areas we have changed port number here and here and then we have added a new binding okay, here and our binding instead of one we are using two that's it okay and then you can start mysql from there so you can see that apache is running and mysql is also running but using a different port instead of 3306 we are using 3307 okay so xamp is running right now you know that our host name and host location is not anymore uh, for the xamp server okay for the xamp mysql we are not using this uh, default host we are using a different host which is 02 and we are using a different port also 3307 okay here you can see 3307 okay and the connection is xamp so connecting it test the connection whether it is okay 
you can see connection warning because we are using the latest MySQL workbench okay so if you want to work with XAMPP or older versions MySQL workbench is developed and tested for MySQL server version 5.6, 5.7 and 8 the XAMPP server that we are using it is here the MySQL server version is not 5.6 okay that's why it is showing in competitive okay non-standard server version but this will be functional okay so you don't have to worry so continue and here you can see host name is this port is 3307 user root ssl not enabled okay successfully made the sql connection and clicking on ok just using the connection name then a standard tcp ip host name is changed and port is changed according to xam mysql and then clicking on ok and you can see here we have a new connection and if you click it and then this dialog will show up connection warning okay and you can continue anywhere and here the recommendation is XAMPP MySQL server is older and it is less than 5.6 and that's why if you are using MySQL workbench then it will be it will be a, a efficient if you use MySQL workbench version 6.3 instead of version 8 but we are continuing anyway and here you can see by default you will have the here you will see administration and you are using schemas and here administration you can see users and privileges we didn't change the user the root user okay here here is the root user and the root is not anymore 127001 okay instead of one we are we have changed it to 002 and if you go to schema and these are the users and you can see then we test these two databases there and you can see the tables here php my admin okay and test database here we do okay these are the tables okay so this is how you are going to connect xamp mysql in mysql workbench version 8 so you need to remember that if you use the older version of mysql which is older than 5.6 then it will be best if you install mysql workbench uh, 6 version 6 how to get out from here to spy and then close connection tab in this way you can connect this exam mysql in mysql workbench and, and you can work from there and you can use mysql workbench to write sql queries so i hope that you have understood how to connect how to reconfigure mysql ports in exam configuration and how to use new ports with a new host and how to connect XAMPP MySQL in MySQL Workbench 8. So if you don't understand anything and you are having problem then comment box is down there. You are welcome to comment there or also welcome to check other videos in our channel. If you like any video then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial video. Until then take good care of yourself. Bye. Thank you.